I sure ain't glad that they hear my name is Chesley. I'm so glad to get out of that trunk. Well, Chesley, I'm glad you can get out of that trunk. And it's time for our Sunday afternoon Bible story. We're going to talk about Jesus. And see, I got my happy hat on. Oh, I see. You got your happy hat on. You always like to have that on. Well, Chesley, we are so glad. It, 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 what kind of the hat is this? Well, it's frog hat, you know. Uh, is it kind of crooked? No, you look okay, Chesley. It's all right for you since you're a ventriloquist figure. You can look kind of any way you want to look. All right, Chesley, we, uh, I'm going to sing the theme song. Well, could we tell what our Bible story is going to be about today? It, it, it's going to be about, to, uh, you know, uh, from rage to lying. Rage to lying. Oh, wow, those are two terrible things. We don't want to be in a rage, and that means you're very angry, and then you're not happy. That's right. If you're in a rage, you don't have any happiness at all. But then, uh, what, and then there's about this lying thing. Oh, yes. Chesley, we've got several things we're going to cover today. And so let's just, i got to sing my theme song. Okay, sing your theme song. This gospel train is chugging at the train. Chugging at the train, it's chugging at the train. This gospel train is chugging at the train. Chugging to the glory land. Well, get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Uh, going to glory land. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, Chesley, this gospel train is headed to the glory land. And anybody can go that wants to serve the Lord. Just serve the Lord with gladness, and we can go. And, and do you have to have a lot of money? Chesley, doesn't matter about the money. It doesn't matter about your family name. It doesn't matter. Just that love the Lord and serve Him with all your heart. Okay. And now, this you are going to talk about today, uh, tell me that. Okay, Chesley. In 2 Kings chapter 5, we find out that there was this man. His name was Naaman. And, and, and you know, he was that guy. Did he get in a rage? Well, Chesley, let's talk about first that he was really a famous, he was a, a, a famous warrior in there. In fact, he was the captain uh, of the king's army. You know, and so he was really a good guy. He was the man you won't. And what's his problem? What's his problem? Well, Chesley, he had this awful, incurable disease called leprosy. No, is it a, 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 an animal? No, we're not talking about a leopard. We're talking about a leprosy, and it was an awful disease with no cure. And so, oh, it was it was a terrible thing. And so, are you telling me that he wasn't going to make it? That's right, he wasn't going to live. And the king thought so highly of him. No, oh, he he was no like his main man. Yes, it was just like he was his main man. What could he do? There was no cure for it. No, I didn't did it what happened. And then he heard uh, somebody tell him that, uh, well, he went online. No, Chesley, he couldn't go online. They didn't have computers. But, you know, Chesley, there was a little girl that had been taken captive. No, you know, that's not one bit nice. Chesley, it wasn't nice, but you know what? God turned it for good because this little girl knew that there was a prophet in the land. And, and, and that's a preacher man. Yeah, it's a preacher man. And that was a man that God had chosen, and his name was Elisha. You know, I know that he, he, he worked under Elijah. Elijah was a wonderful prophet, and so Elisha was the man that took up after he left, and he had, and he, I know what he had, he had the presence of God. He did. He had the presence of God in his life. God was using him, and this little girl knew about him from from her land, and here she was now. She had been taken captive, and, 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 she, and she's not going to tell them what happened. Oh, yes, she is. She's going to tell them. There's the one true God, and said, and you know, there's a prophet down where I'm from, and, 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 and he, he, he can, what can he do? Well, just, she said, uh, uh, she no doubt told him about the miracles he did because God used him, and because God cares and loves. That's right, because God cares and loves. And she said, you know what? If he would go down there, oh, I know what would happen. And she said he, he'd, get, he'd get well. So that's right. said, so if he'll go down there and talk to that prophet, and, and, and I know what's going to happen next. Or oh, what's going to happen next? The prophet's going to talk to God. The prophet is going to talk to God. He isn't going to act on him, uh, just on just say what he wanted to say. He's going he's gonna to pray. He's going to seek the Lord. And, 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 and that's how he's going to get his answer. Oh, it's so good. I can't wait. What's going to happen? Well, Chesley... Uh, so that's that's the thing when it needs to happen and so word went this little girl was just a little servant girl and but when the word got to the king well i tell you what and found out said you know what this little girl has told us that <laughs> there can be a miracle there can be a miracle because this prophet of god god uses him when he prays and that's what you know god always cares and, and he wants people to see that he loves and he cares that's what he wants him to know he loves and he cares in, in the old devil says that god is mean 
that's that's the truth. That's the way that happens. But anyway, we're going to talk about what the Lord did. So what happened is the, the, they said, well, when they got word of the king, no, no he said, he, I'm all for it. No, we're going to get him over. That's what he said. He said, well, we're going to get you over there. He said, you know what? Uh, you know, you're, you're going to have to go, Naaman. That we're going to make a way for you to go. He said, take this letter to the king. Oh, why did the king? You don't know anything. Well, Chesley, the king did know uh, about Elisha the prophet. So here, the king read the letter, and it said, we want you to heal this man of his leprosy. The, the, the king, the king, and he's, I can't heal anybody from leprosy. He said, I know what this is. Oh, yeah, he said he's trying to start a fight. He lost just what he wants. That's what he thought. He's wanting to pick a fight with me. That's what it is. He knows I can't cure leprosy. No, he said, I, I'm just so mad. What am I going to do? And I said, wait just a minute. So they said, if you would just go. It will be fine. This little girl says it will go that the, that the man of God will. And so he, 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 he just said, uh, uh, you know, and said he's here now. And now and now this king is mad. And so uh, I don't know what he's going to call the king. He said, he's trying to pick a fight with me. But look, he sent this letter saying, and said, why don't you just do it? So that's what he did. They said, we're going to send him. I'm going to send him down to. Send him down to, to Elisha. Send him down to there to Elisha the prophet. <laughs> and he was so nervous. He didn't know what to do. He said, I'm going to be in a war. He, did, he thought he was going to maybe be in a war. But no, he said, just, you know, how about just doing what the letter said? So that's what they did. The way, uh, here, here goes Naaman down there. And he had no matter, I don't tell him how many people he went. And there was these chariots, you know. Oh, yes, beautiful chariots. They went down there and they went to Elisha's house. They had been told where he lived. And and they found out why he was there. No doubt a servant went up and told him, our master is out here, and he's a mighty man in our army. And, 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 and so, and here came Elisha out, and Elisha didn't come out. He'd been praying. He knew what the need was. He prayed, and he said, tell Naaman to go down to the River Jordan and dip seven times, and his leprosy will be gone. Oh, it didn't make any sense. It might not have made any sense, but it's what God said to do. Oh, I know this. When you do what God says to do, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work out. It's going to work out. And so Naaman, though, the Bible said he went into a rage. Oh, it's one of them throwing a fit. He was throwing a fit. He was throwing a temper tantrum. Oh, he was in a mad rage. That's not going to get him anywhere. He said, I am just insulted. He said, here I am in this condition. And he said, here I am, I'm needing help. And, and I, I, I'm a mighty man, like a general in the army. And he said, and he's insulted me. I just can't stand this. I'm going to leave. And he turned away to leave in a rage, the Bible said. You know, Chesley, anger can be a very dangerous thing. And here he was, a leper, and here was a, an opportunity that he had to make a choice to be healed or to continue to be a leper. Oh, he was just head. He said, let's just get out of here. But you know what, Chesley? He, the soldiers said to him, you know, I know what they said. They said, you're not even making a mistake. Why don't you try it? That's what they said, sir. If they had, if he'd asked you to do some mighty thing, would you have done it? Oh, yeah. He said, certainly I would. Anything that made him look good, he would do that. But to go and dip in the nasty river Jordan, oh, you mean it was nasty? Oh, it was really, that's what we understand, it's very nasty. And he said, why, back in my country, no, I know he's got clean water. He said, we've got nice, clean places that I could go and dip. But they said, sir, it's just a simple thing. Go dip just seven times. And, 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 and uh, I tell you what, uh, you know, he's thinking it down at the... You know what? And he's going to die with this with this thing. Indeed, leprosy. Leprosy. He's going to die with it. And they were saying, it's worth a chance. Go down. It's just dipped seven times. You know what I think he did? Well, what, what did he do, Chesley? I think he went down and he went, dip, 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 dip. No, he just dipped like seven times really quick. Do you think he went down one time and needed a look? No, I think you he hurried up and get it over with. He, well, because, you know, he did want to be well. And... He wasn't told any specific amount of time. He had to dip how long it had to be. But Chesley, one time, two times, three, and finally the seventh time when he, he had leprosy till he come up the seventh time. And he was well. His, I believe his skin was just almost like a baby's skin. It was just like perfect. It was just like perfect. 
Oh, he had done what God said, what the servant of the Lord had told him, that God had given him the direction to go. Oh, I'm so glad he got over his sin. I'm glad he got over that mad fit, too, and throwing that temper tantrum. That rage almost cost him his healing from leprosy that was killing him. But, Chesley, you know what? As here went Naaman back, said, I've got to go thank that prophet. He said, I've had a real bad attitude toward him. I've been very angry. He said, I'm going to go back and I'm going to give him a gift. That's right. He wanted to give him a gift. And and when he got back there, Elisha came out. <laughs> oh, oh, he came out this time? He came out. Now he wanted to see this man, this man that had humbled his heart. And he had done what the Lord had told Elisha to have him to do. And so now he is an humble man, and, and he's, he's much nicer. He's much nicer. That's right. He's not throwing a fit, not being angry, throwing a tantrum. And so Elisha said, I want to give you, I know, give you some gifts. That's right. It was just, it seemed like the normal, natural thing to want to do. He wanted to, I think he was saying, well, pay him, I don't know. They just wanted, he just show his appreciation. And, and, and so uh, but Elisha didn't do it. He wouldn't take it. Elisha said, no, there, uh, I don't, he just wanted all the glory to go to the Lord. He wouldn't accept it. But you know what? Gehazi, who was Elisha's, uh, was a person that worked for him. He was the man that waited on him and helped him. He was standing there. Okay. And, and you know something? I think he wanted something. I think he was one. Chesley, as, you know, as here goes Naaman and all of those people with him, the chariots pulled out. And but Gehazi was thinking, oh, he should, he should have taken those gifts. I'm gonna go get it. Well, Chesley, what he was thinking of, what could he do? And he thought he would just go down there and he would see if any. Well, he would just make up a story. Oh, you saying he's gonna tell a lie? Tell a lie? That's exactly what he did. He went, he waited a while, and then he after he knew that. They were on down the road a ways, and a little bit he went, and he hurried to them, and they saw him coming. And so Naaman said, wait, wait, wait. He said, here, 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 here comes, here comes that, that servant. Let's see what he needs. Oh, oh, and so they, they stopped, and, and, and then he said, what is it that, that, you, that you need? Did you, did you get something? No, he said, but I tell you what, he said, we've had some unexpected company come, and he said, we need, uh, you know, they had, they had silver, and they had gold, and they had, uh, and they had, things that they could give, the gifts that Naaman uh, was going to give. And he said, uh, you know, could uh, you know, we've had these unexpected company come. And so what did uh, Naaman do? Uh, well, he gave some gifts. He gave some gifts, and he said, oh, yes, I would be happy to give these gifts. So he did. Gave them the gifts. And here's what uh, uh, Gehazi did. And, and he, he went and, and showed Naaman. Oh, no, he didn't show, I mean, show uh, his ma he, he didn't show Elisha his master. He didn't do it. He went and he put him in his house. He hid them. Well, then he went. He just went in the house just to take care of, of Elisha like he all, always did. No, oh, and I know something ain't going to go right. It doesn't smell right. Well, Chesley, we might say sometimes things don't smell right. And we're not talking about an actual smell. But I'll tell you, something was, and all of a sudden, the, whole, the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord, you know, spoke to Elisha and told him. No, he told a lie. He had told a lie. And he said, where have you been, Gehazi? And Gehazi said, oh, I haven't been anywhere. Oh, yes, he had. He just told a lie. God is not pleased. No, God is not pleased at all. And he said, Gehazi, you did. And he told him exactly what he had done. He said, Gehazi. And Gehazi, he could have repented like, uh, you know, like, Naaman did in his case, and he threw a, well, his tantrum, and then he really repented, and he went down and dipped in the river. Now, here's a different case, and here is anger. He has an opportunity now, because he asked him, where did you then? And he lied. He said he hadn't been anywhere. And so Elisha knew he had. He said, oh, yes, you did. Right then, he could have repented, but he did not. It, 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 oh, what's going to happen? It, 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 I'm scared. Well, Chesley, it is kind of scary because he said to him, Gehazi, because you have lied, because you, you've done this, and he, he wouldn't change his mind, he wouldn't repent, he said, the leprosy, leprosy is going to cling to you. The leprosy will be on you and your family. Oh, not all because of, oh, it doesn't take to go in a rage or tell lies. That's right, Chesley. A bad temper is a dangerous thing. And, but, now, a person can repent. They can ask the Lord to help him. 
repent that means to, to change your mind and do the right thing and honor God. Honor God. And one man did honor God and how the Lord blessed him. But Chesley, it goes back to that little girl. That little girl was a witness. You never know, Chesley, how God can use us. So always do the right thing wherever you are. And, and, and if you do the wrong thing, or you, or you tell the Lord you're sorry, that repentance thing. Yes, Chesley, we repent. We tell the Lord we're sorry. And it's not just empty words. We, Chesley, we need to honestly and sincerely be serious. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, well, I'm ready for a question. Uh, I hear people say that they don't really lie because they have their fingers crossed. Oh, Chesley, I'm glad you brought that up. I have heard that, you know, people think that, and that, it, it isn't true, it isn't it, it, in God's Word. It's not in God's Word. Nowhere does it say that if you have your fingers crossed when you say something, tell a lie, it's not really a lie. Chesley, we need to understand that, that we don't do that. That's and, and, and that's not being honest. It's not being honest. So let's just do what, what Lord the Lord wants us to do and be blessed. That's it, Chesley. Be blessed by the Lord. And Chesley, it's a blessing when we get to have a nice bed and get to go to sleep and get some rest. Oh, I kind of thought we was heading this direction. Well, Chesley, you've told your story and you've sung the theme song, and it's time for you to go to bed now. And, and, and I know, and be ready for next week. Be ready for next week. Can I wear in a hat? Yes, you can still wear your, your frog hat. Chesley, you tell everybody goodbye. And, and I love you. The life that they got the wink at and all that stuff. Well, Chesley, I think they know that you love them and you're glad to be here. And you're kind of trying to move your arm there a little bit. Tell everybody goodbye. We'll see them next week. Good day, and I'll see you next week. And, and I sure do love you. And, and, and I wish I could stay up, but it ain't happening. No, Chesley, it's not happening. It's bedtime. We love you. We'll see you next week, the Lord willing. Goodbye.